Hello guys, Pied is back with another video. So guys, first of all, I want to tell a, a big thank you because of in a just a one month, even one month is not completed, just I have completed 28 days for this channel. And uh, our family is now 501 subscriber. So guys, uh, thanks to all of you subscribers who support me a best. So now in this video, I'm talking about uh, object detection and Eastern segmentation. So first of all, you obviously you all have seen this video, which I uploaded in the afternoon. So this is the testing video. So, so now in this video, I'm showing you a full tutorial, how you can implement this thing in your system. So first, uh, let me understand the thing, uh, guys, if you know what is object detection, I have made a previously video on this. So click on the I button and watch that video. After that, you have to focus on this video. Then you will understand what is the concept of behind this. So actually, this uh, technique is uh, using a mask RCNN. Uh, it's uh, detecting the object, and after detection, it's uh, creating, creating a uh, like uh, filling the color on that object in simple means. So it's creating a mask on the object. So that's why it's uh, non mask RCNN. So how to implement this thing? Eh? So you need to go this uh, official repository. So just uh, you have to clone this repository. So I'm cloning. Copy this uh, command. Now just I'm going. Uh, I'm doing this thing once again to just show you. So I open command window here. Any drive. Uh, type command git clone and paste that link. So it will uh, copy all the project in the my directory. So wait for the some time. So guys, uh, first of all, uh, clear the things that how it works. So you need to have a good GPU for this uh, task. Uh, I'm not saying it will not work on the CPU. It also work on the CPU, but it takes uh, too much memory power. Power, so it can lag uh, your system. So that's why I'm telling the truth. You need to have a good GPU, and not only GPU, you should have a TensorFlow GPU installed with a Pi CUDA. If you don't know what is CUDA, then CUDA is the like uh, a bridge between your uh, GPU and TensorFlow. So now my uh, repository is uh, cloned here. So first of all, now you have to install the requirements. So open the requirements. So guys, obviously, uh, if you are using Anaconda, then uh, this all library you will get uh, by default. So uh, now we need to use the installer TensorFlow, Keras, and uh, this uh, last uh, last four to five libraries. So guys, uh, you can install via pip or uh, you can directly do pip install requirement.txt. You know that how to do this. So I'm not uh, showing this thing. But uh, I used uh, TensorFlow 1.14.0 version in Keras uh, latest version. Uh, I used OpenCV, uh, I don't know which version, I think I used OpenCV 3. Uh, then install this uh, library just with pip install. Now I'm talking about this library, image org. So this library will not install with the pip, it will show an error. So for that, uh, you have to go official img org uh, repository page. Here you will uh, found a command something like this. Open your command prompt and paste this command here. It will install image or li uh, library in your Anaconda. So our uh, totally requirements are satisfied. Now you have to go on to go to the understand the structure. So just go to the sample folder. You you will find a demo.ipynb file. So if you are using a C directory. Uh, then you don't need to do some, anything, just open this uh, demo.ipnv, but I'm using D directory. So first of all, uh, we have to uh, launch the Jupyter Notebook. So all the codes and things uh, here provided in this uh, demo.ipnv, we don't need to do anything. So Jupyter Notebook. Uh, actually, another thing is that uh, this uh, code will only work on the notebook. Uh, it will not uh, run on the script. For the script, you have to do some changes in the main code. So most of the users saying uh, why I have a different Anaconda. So instead of tree, just you have to write a lab here. So it will redirect you to Jupyter Lab. Uh, Jupyter Lab is just amazing. So actually, what I did. Uh, I create a, 
uh, once again i need to create copy of this and i already created one folder of the notebooks and paste here so already my path is a desktop folder so now i need to open a demo dot ipynb file so you need to first of all uh, no, in my case i need to change the path because my working directory is now uh, this notebook folder but my working directory should be uh, this uh, directory so for that uh, just uh, use os library os dot chdir and copy the path okay now save this now we need to do another thing here we need to download the model file and paste uh, it in this working directory so you have to download the model so actually i do, uh, forget the model name so let me see it uh, mask rcnn uh, model name is mask rcnn coco.h5 so just you don't need to anything uh, search this word on the google uh, you will find that link also so here is the link download this model from here but i'm not downloading i'm just copying from my uh, directory to another directory which uh, in which i am currently working so you need to have uh, this model in your working directory so now model is pasted on this our working directory now once again go to the jupyter lab so this is the code and configuration which already this is defined if you want to the understand the structure then just uh, read all the things you will know how it works so basically what it doing uh, with the coco uh, pre trained model and weights it uh, it is detecting the object and after detecting object uh, it's uh, making the mask on that object so here is the class and all the things so first of all uh, now you don't need to do anything just run from the starting so it takes uh, require it takes uh, some time to do so now i'm waiting for the result i hope i did not get any error so it takes uh, time because uh, currently my screen is recording uh, guys you don't uh, think about this warning just uh, this warning is like a different version so you don't need to worry about anything so this code will load your model after that it will load weights from the model after that uh, that uh, uh, who made this repository uh, created a class name the list means uh, this uh, can detect all the object which is defined in this uh, class name after that we are uh, creating a list of the our image file so let's see uh, what kind of samples we are getting so now we are we are doing testing on this all the images which is provided on our uh, repository you can uh, add custom images here for, you can download it from the internet so still it's uh, running so for this task you need to have a tensorflow gpu i um, strongly recommend use tensorflow gpu because it requires too much memory power uh, most of the user are commenting about object detection uh, they have some issue so just i want to tell that there is a issue of the path you need to set always path of a working directory because if you are using a Jup uh, jupyter notebook then your path should be always in a c if your directory is a e and d drive then you have to first of all change the path of the working directory so you need to use the os library so it's taking time uh, that so in this repository they did not provide a uh, code for a video detection but i have made for i have made this code so i will explain this code after this 
thing so in this repository you will not find uh, code of the video so they just provide a code for uh, from image detection so now you can see uh, images so actually here they use the random dot choice so that's why it's uh, loading only one images so you can see now our object is detected and uh, segmented you can see object is also detected uh let's uh, uh, do some another thing uh, i'm showing you just uh, not running once again all the things so i in the end i change the some in th something is the code so just uh, instead of sk image i used the open cv library and uh, uh, all the images i run in the for loop so that's why i am getting the result of the all the images which is uh, present in our image directory so you can see all the images are uh you can see segmented security is much better so now this thing uh, we have done for the images now what about the video so just uh, i have created a one of python script which can do this task for video also so this uh, script is present in my this perfect directory which i have work on yesterday so this is the code so first open the script i have made some changes here so now just i need to run this script so i will provide this uh, link in description so now i need to change the path here now i need to run this uh, file so just i have to write python visualize cv2.py so wait for some time it will uh, uh, launch the video so until that let's open the script so i changed some things uh, and some uh, code here i updated some other thing also so now this uh, uh, video is uh, this code is work, work for video also so in this part if you define zero then it will do it for webcam if you are doing any video part then it will launch a video for it you can use system argument also with argapass library so wait for the video actually guys uh, for our object segmentation video processing is a very very slower i hope i did not get any error uh, because uh, in some time cuda and tensorflow gpu it show error of a qdnn because of the less memory i have 2 gb graphics card so always i get the memory error you can see so now wait for the opening it takes uh, too much time so i'm pushing this video Uh, guys you can see video is open but uh, it takes uh, too much uh, like uh, lagging but still it detecting object so that's a good thing here so just i want to say any like that you need to have a good graphics card with uh, around 8 gb or 4 gb if you want to do some amazing task related to deep learning So guys uh, that's all for the today video
so just like and share this video uh, all the uh, that video code will link in the description if you did uh, not get it get anything then you can comment down in the comment box like and share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel don't forget to subscribe uh, because the subscriber count uh, motivates me always so guys thanks for the listening me our 500 subscriber is completed so now our next target is a 1000 subscriber and uh, one another thing uh, tomorrow at 8 30 pm on indian standard time i am doing a q a series uh, i will be live on youtube and uh, i will try to answer all of your questions which are related to our machine learning ai field if you have any doubts or suggestions uh, if you want any suggestion from me or you want any career uh, career guidance then you can ask me on uh, youtube live so that's all for today video like and share this video and subscribe the channel and thanks for the listening to me